This is a 1958 Edsel Pacer, and it's one of the strangest cars ever made. I would even say that it's weirder than Doug DeMuro. So this car doesn't wear two shirts, or cargo shorts, or film all of its videos like this, but it is an American icon, even to this day. I don't intend to roast Doug this entire video. I am actually a huge fan of his. The car was only made from 1958 through 1960, and Ford Motor Company dubbed this the car of the future. The Pacer convertible is the rarest of the Pacers, and we have one here at the Midwest Dream Car Collection. Ford didn't make sales, not because the car was unattractive, but because the car did not meet expectations. One of Bill Gates' favorite case studies about how a product can fail is the Edsel. Not because there was anything wrong with it, but because the company had overhyped this car. They thought that this car would start a revolution, but it ended up becoming a $350 million nightmare, a gas guzzling piece of what they called ugly. Nowadays, I don't think we'd call it that. This was the first Ford with a vertical grill, and the only Ford with a vertical grill ever since this car was made. It looked like an Oldsmobile sucking a lemon. And this is what they called the gun sight. It certainly didn't help that the first Edsels were delivered with oil leaks, sticking hoods, trunks that wouldn't open, and push buttons that couldn't be budged with a hammer. Car buyers didn't buy the car because it was too ugly, or too expensive to maintain, but they didn't buy the car just because it didn't live up to expectations. So let me show you some things about this car. Here's automatic windows, which was not very common in 1958. And then no airbags, but this is the gear selector. So you could go reverse, drive, neutral, and park. And here's the AM radio which did not come with Apple CarPlay, so I'm not sure that I would be able to use it. And this car even had a modern convenience of cruise control. And these were extremely advanced mirrors for 1958. They could sell on eBay for near $500. And these extremely long antennas. It's a gas cap, hidden behind the back license plate. Let's have a look at all this chrome. So the car of the future was over 118 inches long and weighed more than 4,000 pounds. It also had a lot of modern conveniences that really make the car stand out today. And here's what looks like a very large and comfortable back seat. This one was unique because it was ember red on white. And that has continued throughout the interior and exterior of the car. So this car was named after Henry Ford II's father, Edsel Ford. The Ford lineage went Henry Ford, then Edsel Ford, and then Henry Ford again, and then Edsel Ford again. And I think you get the point. But today, I think it remains one of the greatest cars ever made because it's so unique and so weird.